What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K of MM2K Gaming, Cloud Dosage, Hard Knock Digital Culture, back again with another episode of The Spiel. This is normally where we talk about the latest and greatest in video gaming news in short video form, but I wanted to do something special today. Um, we're going to be talking in a few moments, if you're watching this as part of the mic check episode, in a few moments, we're going to be talking about the greater subject matter of the Xbox brand and how it's now being debated within the Xbox community. But to kind of highlight how it's transitioned and how we got to this point, I wanted to also give you a sneak peek of a big time interview that I did with my good friend, Tim Dog. Tim Dog has been a long friend of mine for a very, for a very long time while I've been doing content creation here on YouTube and so forth. Um, he was the third episode in a great line of series of interviews that we've already done. I thought that him coming in as the third episode was the perfect place because we, we kind of talked to the PlayStation side of the community in regards to what's going on between PlayStation and Xbox's um, competition. Now we're going to start converting over to like the Xbox side, but I think Tim, Bo Tim Dog was a great midway point because he, if, for those of you that have been living under a rock, Tim Dog, undoubtedly the biggest name in Xbox fandom um, earlier this year, stepped away from the platform. He said, look, they're doing some things, particularly when it comes to more of a multi-plat behavior. That is the antithesis of them trying to compete, give you better product, bring us back to the Xbox 360 glory days. As far as the quality that's being put out there, I, I, I had no idea this is what they were doing. And now that I realize that this is what's happening, I have to step away from the brand. And he explained his, his part. He, 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 did, he disparaged nobody that didn't feel the same way he did. Um, but he said, this is what I got to do. And in doing so, he was attacked and lauded, whatever, everything you can think of. He was called everything but the child of God. But now we're seeing a turn of events with some of these more recent activities with Xbox, like uh, most notably uh, the rumor that Forza could be coming, Forza Horizon 5 of all games could be coming to PlayStation and what that means for the brand or how that might damage the brand even further. Now we're seeing some of the same people that when Tim Dog originally made his step back that, you know, attacked him. Now that you're starting to see they sympathize with his move and they also look like they're about to do the same thing. So during our fantastic interview with Tim Dog, I, I actually wanted him to react to this and give his thoughts on such a transition. So we're going to play that now. Then we're going to talk on the back end about the overall theme about how the Xbox brand is, tra uh, is transitioning and what that means for the Xbox console gaming. So in order to do that, let me do this. Let's, 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 let's pause our original background music and let's get ready to do this right here. Here we go. No, you did attack. <laughs> I just, I just don't know when it's going to end. All right, so here it goes. <laughs> Iron Lords podcast. King David, um, Kids Move, talking about Xbox fandom right now. Here we go. I told him put your chest out, put your chin up, and you, you stand up there, you, you hold the line. That's mm -hmm. what I told you to do. And you did it for a little bit, but your legs got knocky again. <laughs> and um, I'm just saying. So it's don't act like oh you everything was all together then. No, because every last one of you dudes said that ABK deal would not go through. Fact. I'm the only dude that told That's you man, shut That's up and fact. hold it down. That's and a it's fact. gonna go down. And it's gonna go down. And That's it true. went down, mm -hmm. and these dudes right now were burning. Now they they want the games now. Now they we wish it. Games. Now we wish it didn't go down because ever since it did go down, it brought everything down. Mm -hmm. I think people like <laughs> me, him, dog, the probably toxic uh, fanboyism to a toxic place. <laughs> I to appreciate point where you owning we're that. Too much of a fanboy of like we want to win. We want Xbox to win. We want yeah. Xbox to have the better games. Mm. We want Xbox to sell the most. We want Xbox to have high Metacritic scores. Mm. What Xbox is doing mm. now is the polar opposite of what we want them. We want them to win. What mm. they're doing is like, okay, so, okay, 
it, it, it's, it's like it's confusing. Actually, it's like a chemical imbalance of what's actually going on. Like, Yo, you this know, this is not the this is not the console warrior way. So it's like the console okay. warrior way. Okay, so so I love so, this. This all right, is great. Like, like so. You can't have that same mindset. Don't fall into the, the yeah. positions that they can't do. They can't do what Microsoft do. They're a billion dollar company. You ever went inside Team. the club and can't go up to the third floor because your money don't reach up there? That's the same thing. Respectfully, we've been starving for years. <laughs> oh, God. Tim, you know what, what? what do you think about that? That's that, that great. Clip? Uh, it's great. It's right, man. He nailed it, man. I we wanted them to win. Yeah. I wanted them to win. I wanted them to have the high Metacritics. Those are all things because I'm competitive. He, he nailed it uh, on that. Um, and the, the last statement he just is completely true that we've been starving. Yeah. But yes, that was part of it. And yes, that was part of my ignorance. I never gave PlayStation a shot. Like mm. when I bought the PlayStation, I just mm. you know, I, it was that's a hundred percent. You know. Of course, I wanted Xbox to do good, and of course, when that didn't happen, it, it, you know, it, it, it would suck. But um, and I always stood, stood by them. But when they were just like giving up, it was it? But yeah, he he's right. Uh, you know, um, looking back, the, I always wanted that day to be like, "Hey, boss, mm -hmm. look, man, mm -hmm. we're yeah. number one. Yeah, look, you, we're yeah, you rock. fucked up, What's Moss. Up, yeah." Man? We yeah. won the MVP. <laughs> what are you talking now? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it yeah. never came. It and you know came. what? Tim, if something I would've, I would've been happy if that would've happened. I would've been more than glad to say, oh man, I was so fucking wrong. They're back, buddy. Tim, you know, I bend the knee, Tim. Yeah. Take me back. I would've been more than happy to do that. But like you, like you, you said, you never though. came. You kind of knew. And yeah. Some people's realizations were earlier than others. You were one of the because I remember I used to always say, come on back. Yeah, Chris, yeah. Chris is another one. <laughs> Chris, we would always fight. And I'd be like, Steel, come on back. Um, we, we're going to contract. I'm going to have a contract. But, you know, um, Chris had his experience where he, he he was done with Xbox. Zaire had his. Yeah. You had yours, which I, yeah. we always joke about. Yeah. Um, but, like, yeah, I mean, the, I have to admit, like, uh, you know, it, it, I did want Xbox to be um, out there, and and they just the starving part is true, man. They, you know, King is saying, well, they can go up to the third floor, floor and the money, the Sony's money ain't good no more up there. He's mm -hmm. right, but it's also the fact that, bro, yeah, <laughs> yeah, not done, like for years, yeah, twenty twenty two, they got fucking nothing. 2021 they had that was their only little bit of a spurt that i think that they had mm -hmm. remember when that halo and fours of five mm -hmm. i think that they, and they had that video and and about how the creation of xbox um and how it all started oh, yeah. yeah you know they were in a like a decent spot then but they never uh it's like i told rand i said we never had our day and then yeah. uh i was yeah. i really wanted that day to happen i wanted to say Ha ha, you know, you guys were wrong and it is what it is. Like when they just totally wave the white flag, it's like, no, I, I can't stand by that. Like yeah. I, you know, I just I, I don't think it's good. And and, and and again, it comes down to the living room too and personal, you know, things for, as a gamer. Um, you know, I mean people say you Tim, you don't gain this and that. I've been gaming since day one, uh since the start of 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 uh uh, of gaming, I remember walking to the. I walked uh, half a mile. My fat ass, well, I wasn't fat then, <laughs> but like I used to walk every single day, uh -huh. and I spent ten dollars and quarters, and I used to play video games, oh, arcade, yeah. standing up yeah. every day. and loved it. I played on Atari. I owned a three, a three, a three D O. I uh, had every system. I had the Jaguar. I had uh, you name it. I had it. Um, been there for all the big games um but you know uh at right now i'm a console gamer i don't want to deal with pc and yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I wanted xbox mm -hmm. with my thousand twelve hundred game digital library that i own yeah to have a console and yeah. to be what they want and i don't 
I think their future is completely third party and they're going to be mm-hmm. identity. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there you have it. It's, it's like, that's the crux of it is the identity is now in limbo when it comes to Xbox. Like what is next for them? You can hear the reason why I wanted to give you guys that snippet in, in, in cold blood. And I will be talking about this too during the podcast is that because one of the things that cold blood said to me, and, and I think it's more than legit that cold blood asked us, asked this to many people asked. It, and I think Tim would have answered it um, either way, but it's like, don't you feel responsible, dude? You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people have been coming to Tim and asking him that. And Tim has been addressing it. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I do feel responsible. But, you know, if if it's any solace, I was coming from a place of really, I thought that they were going to do right by the customer in the long end. There may have been situations to where I may have brushed some things off or whatever, because everybody has stumbles, you know, and we all do it for our favorite that we may brush some things off here and there, but it was in the betterment of the community because we really felt like with the continued support, they would actually get back to the glory days and continue pumping out quality for the consumer. And when I finally realized that that was not going to be their approach via them totally changing the brand and just going third party and just trying to whip whip anything anywhere. He said, I had to step back. So then that's the question that, that looms, you know what I mean? Like what is the brand? Cold blood had said, you know, I, I originally was going to pepper him with questions about his accountability, but he's been accountable and I can hear in his voice, his pain, <laughs> like you, that that was one pivotal part of the interview where you could hear his pain. Like he really wanted Xbox to dig deep and they were promising they were gonna dig deep to do more. Now he explains in other parts of the interview why he think this happened. And you really gotta, you really gotta see the full interview to get the full impact and, and, and hear um, the reasonings that they're here. Um, but again, the desire for them to do better was there. Um, honestly, Kid Smooth was one of the people that when Tim Dog flipped, he did not have the nicest things to say. And to see that type of sympathy, not just from Kid Smooth, but from others across the board in the community. Not, I'm not saying when I say across the board, I don't mean everybody. I mean like across the board in different sectors of the community. Um, do that. It, it makes you wonder. Um, the Xbox fandom outside of those that just appreciate game pass and maybe like some of the titles, like this whole competitive spirit from a platform standpoint, I'm gonna make you wonder what's the point. What's the point anymore? I mean, look, you, you guys know me. I was a fan of Ubisoft and I was a fan of Bethesda. You, you can be a fan of a publisher. You can, but it, it's kind of like different. You, you can be a fan of a publisher without hating on other ones. You could just say, I feel like the this publisher, um, best represents what I, what I look for in gaming. But when I think it comes, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to, um, platforms, it's a little bit different, but yeah, excellent stuff. We're going to be talking about that shortly. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, um, sit tight. If you're watching this as part of mic check, if you're not watching this as part of mic check in, um, you're watching this as a VOD, check out the card to the left. It will take you to that mic check episode where me and uh, Cold Blood embellish on this even more. And if you want to see the full Tim Dog interview, again, it's part of our member series called Lobby Talk. Check the card to the right. It will take you there. With that said, I appreciate all y'all. Till next time, have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.